Well, Karu, thank you so much for joining me to talk about My Name is Baghdad. Um, I was wondering if first you could talk a little bit about how you started in cinema and your background. Well, I started, um, I my major is in history. So I studied to be like a teacher, a history teacher. Uh, but then I have my mother and my father are filmmakers in Brazil. So I was always, since my four, since I was four years old, I was involved in cinema. So when I started to to, to go to the to the college to, co to the college, um, I started to work. Uh, but I worked in cinema because it was easier for me to, because I, I knew everybody, so I, 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 I used, so it, it was easier. And then when I finished college, I thought, well, I like to work with cinema, so why, uh, why I don't continue to work with cinema as I'm, I've been doing since five years. So, but I was always like a producer. I, I wasn't like a director or, or screenwriter. And then when I was still in college, I did um, like a, a class uh, a, a script a script, a script writing class and then I realized that I wanted to to write also so I wrote a short movie and applied to a how do I say that a convocatoria like a call for proposals yeah, yeah. in Brazil there are a lot of funding like uh, public funding uh, for short film for feature I, I applied to one of those and I was very surprised but I won <laughs> so I started to direct also so that's how I started so could you also talk about where the story of Baghdad came from um, because you're also one of the writers of the script yeah, so it, it is like loosely inspired uh, by a book that uh, a, a Brazilian author gave me this book. And I read and I said, oh, I, I, I love skateboarding. I'm not a skateboarder, but I also always loved like the environment and the, I don't know, the scene. And then I said, okay, I want to, to do a film uh, about this, what inspired in this book. Uh, and then in the first draft, it was a boy, like that was a boy, because in the book, it's a boy. And then, he, and there were like a female character that was Tati, uh, his uh, cousin. And then in the first draft, I went to a residency and then the tutor, it was a, a girl, a female tutor. She said to me, like when we were talking, I was always going to Tati all the time. No, because Tati, 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 and completely forgot about Bagda, the, the boy, the skater boy. And then she said, I think you want to, to do a story about Tati, not Bagda. And then I said, yeah, but I want, I want, to, I want to, to, to talk about a, a, a skateboarder. At this time in Brazil, there, was only, there were only like a few female skateboarders. That, that it wasn't even a scene. It was always like... Um, in the 90s and early 20s, there was, if you were went to a square with uh, skateboarders, it, there was only male skateboarders and one girl, two girls. And they, they were like a few girls skateboarding. And then I came to the, with this idea to talk about a, a girl 
who skateboards in a male group. And then I started to, to talk about Tati, but then I said, why Tati? Tati can be named as Bagda. Her name can be Bagda. So after like in the third or fourth draft, she became Bagda. And then when I was on, I, I was like in the beginning of the pro of the preparation of the film, I came across with a new scene because there I went to a square, a famous square where there are a lot of skateboarders, and there were like a lot of girls skateboarding. And I said, okay, something have changed. And then the the story became about this, about a girl who is in an all male group. And then she started to realize that there are a lot of the girls skateboarding. Yeah, I, I loved that part of the story. Um, when I was growing up, I skated, but I was always the only girl. And I think things would have been really different if I had a group of girlfriends who also skated. Um, there are so many super interesting characters in the film and the performances the, of the actors are are really great. Could you talk a little bit about the casting process? Because um, there are good actors, but there are also some really good skaters uh, mm -hmm. that are acting in the film. Yeah, since my my first feature, I I like to work with a mixed casting that is some uh, experienced actors or actresses and some natural actor and actresses. Uh, people that has never acted before but want to become an actor. So, so Bagda is like that. So we have some, especially the the grown up characters. They are uh, almost uh, made with uh, experienced uh, actors and actresses. And almost all the skateboarders are composed with natural actor, uh, natural performance. Uh, the only one who is a uh, experienced um, skateboarder is the the character that uh, harassed Bagda. He's uh, a professional actor. But he also is a skateboarder. And the decision to make this is because I didn't, I wanted this film to be also like a portrayal of an era, like of this, this, this scene, this skateboarder scene that I was seeing in front of my eyes. So it was very important that the skateboarders, the, the actors and actresses, the performers, perf performers were part of this scene. Uh, it's, it was super important for the movie. I did, didn't want to, even though a super great actor or actress uh, said to me, no, I, I can learn skateboard, uh, and be Bagda, I, I would say no, because it's not it's not about that. It's about uh, bringing this energy, this knowledge, this philosophy to the film. So I, I collaborate a lot with the actors, to, with the performance to, to make the scenes. So it was more about training skaters to act rather than training actors to, to skate. Exactly. Um, in the film, you capture very well how skating is more than just like a mode of transportation or a form of exercise, but how it really shapes the way that skaters experience the city um, and space and society. And then it also frames friendships um, and becomes kind of like, I mean, it, it mediates friendships and it mediates the way that skaters experience the city. Could you talk a little bit more about this scene that you see um, in Sao Paulo? Yeah, well, I can say only the ones that I know. <laughs> that the, 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 the ones in, in the movie, 
what captivated me about skateboarding in, in, in nowadays, not when I was a teenager, it was a completely different thing. Skateboarding was more uh, violent in a way because people had to be like punk rocker and all and and now it it it, it surprised me like the this kind of this aspect of the skateboarder scene that was exactly what you said the way that they experienced the city it's really amazing because it's like a way of resistance is a way of confront some patterns of uh, marginalization. It's like uh, saying, look, I will uh, take over this city despite you like me in these streets or not. I, I don't care. And this is amazing. This is super powerful. And when I saw girls doing that, it was like, I, I, even now I uh, I get very emotional because I said, oh my gosh, if I if I had this when I was a girl, it was uh, it would be com a completely different thing because a girl occupying the street, the streets with a skateboarder is even more powerful yet. So this aspect of the skateboard, skateboard scene uh, was, I tried to bring to the movie and to the movie as a concept because the other female actors, characters also do that in other ways, like the mother or the, 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 the girlfriend that uh, had, that is the owner of this, this bar that uh, in, in these neighborhoods um, it's very common only men to be owner of this kind this type of, of bar or, or and only men goes to this type of bar and so to put like a woman uh, running this type of uh, bar is also kind of like uh, when a female skateboarder occupies occupy the, the city with her skateboarder. And the mother also, the mother is a single mom, but uh, she doesn't care. It's not a pro problem to, to her. She's not uh, wanting, and, and she's a good mother in her way. Uh, it doesn't miss, she doesn't miss to, to have a man beside her. So, uh, this 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 concept of skateboarding uh, it's in all the other scenes also. Yes, um, I love how so many of the characters are defying traditional gender roles in the film. Um, even the little sister who wants to be an astronaut, and um, despite that, you see how society and the state like the police are constantly trying to put people back in those traditional roles. And Bagda is such an interesting character because on one hand, as the only girl in her crew, she's treated differently for being a girl, but she's also treated as a, as a peer and as a skater. Um, but then when they are confronted by the police, the police um, attack her for being kind of androgynous or for not conforming to like stereotypical beauty standards of, of, of a girl her age. Um, and then at the same time, it's a coming of age story and female friendship becomes so important for her to feel empowered and to also feel protected. Um, and so could you talk a little bit about uh, female friendship or how you see friendship um, in the film? Uh, this is a very important uh, point in the film because uh, I, I didn't want to, to... I started to see a lot of movies with female characters uh, and it, it, I started to be very like uh, upsetting, upset 
uh, about um, see women treated like garbage on movies. In a way, okay, they are protagonists, but they have to suffer from the beginning to the end. And then in the end, they, they can be happy, you know? So I started to be, I know I don't want to see that on screen. I, I wanted to see women being happy all the time because life is like that. I mean, one day you are, something happened and you, you are really, really sad. But in the other day, you find your, your girlfriends and you, I don't know, drink a beer and something amazing happened. So life is like that. You are not suffering all the time or all, all your life. So I wanted to, 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 to make a movie where girls could, could bond and through this bond, they can protect them, themselves from the, the other things that, that tries to make us unhappy. But um, because I think life is like that, like the bond, the bonds that you create are your, your shield to, to the, the things that are outside that can harm us. So this is like, there are two concepts. The concept that I don't like films where girls have, can have to suffer, like for one hour and a half, you see the women suffering, like, uh, I, it's like, uh, I don't like this type of mu movie. And then I truly believe that the bonds that we make, make uh, in our life it's what uh, can really protect us from the, the things. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, do you have anything else that you want to mention about the film or say about the film? I don't know. I think you covered like all the, the main things that uh, I wanted to discuss in the, in the film. And also another thing that I like and that it was really important in this movie was the collaboration part with the crew and with the cast. We, we made everything very in a collaborative way and thinking about shooting, sh the, the process of shooting, of preparing, shooting, and post-producing post the film is also important the way you handle this, this, um, this process. So it's like uh, we said, we cannot create a toxic environment in the shooting process. If in the film we are saying other, otherwise, you know? So we try to make some rules uh, to try to think like the way you produce a film had to be in agreeing with with your message, you know, like uh, because the, sh the, the, the film set can be very toxic environment, especially for women and other marginalized uh, people and we 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 care a lot about the shooting the the process of making the film not not only the the final product but also the way we 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 filmed this was another important thing uh karu thank you so much for your time and also for making such uh, a fun and interesting film um Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. Thank you a lot. And I'm very like um, happy to show the film in San Diego. <laughs>